Hey guys, so with the release of iOS 16.2, in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a few things you should do right after you update to the latest iOS 16.2. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, the first thing I always recommend you do right after you install a major update for the iPhone is you want to go into settings, you want to go into general, and then you want to head on over into the about section. And now, the reason you want to do this is because if there's any carrier updates, it will populate on the middle of your screen and you will be able to click install carrier update. That way you have better compatibility with the network and performance overall. Now, not everyone will have a carrier update, but oftentimes when Apple releases a new software update, update as iOS 16.2 is a major one, carriers oftentimes do release a carrier update for better network compatibility with the latest software, and you may want to do this right after you update your iPhone. Now, another thing I always recommend is even if you have automatic app updates enabled on your iPhone, so your apps will download automatically, you still want to go over into the App Store here, and you want to click into the avatar here, and down here you'll see all the latest updates available for your applications. Now, the reason I recommend you do this is because sometimes even though you have automatic app updates enabled, these updates don't trigger until a day or two later. Even though the developers oftentimes submit a lot of these updates instantly, they don't trigger until a day or two later. So you want to go into your app updates section and make sure that you update your apps instantly right after you update to the latest iOS 16.2 for better app compatibility and performance and all that good stuff so your apps don't end up crashing on you. It's always good practice to do this. Now, one thing you may want to check right after you update to 16.2 is under settings, and then you want to go into display and brightness. And down here, we have new options finally for the always on display. In case you didn't know, Apple launched the always on display. There was only one option here, which was the always on display on or off. With iOS 16.2, Apple has added two additional options. We have show wallpaper and show notifications. We can now turn off notifications and wallpapers for the always on display. Now, another feature you should definitely have a look at with iOS 16.2 and macOS 13.1 is continuity camera. If we go to AirPlay and handoff, we have the continuity camera. This is where you can use your iPhone as a webcam for your FaceTime calls. And this feature isn't new to iOS 16.2. However, with the latest macOS 13.1 and iOS 16.2, the picture quality has been improved. It is more stable. The connection is more solid. So overall, it is performing a lot better. You know what's also running a lot better? My M1 Max MacBook Pro, and it is all thanks to Clean My Mac X. I'm telling you guys, if you have a Mac, you need to download Clean My Mac X. And of course, links will be in the description down below. This software will help your computer run better and to its full potential. With Clean My Mac, you can put all your files in order, deleting years worth of junk file, creating more storage on your Mac, helping your Mac run as if it was new with a simple and clean user interface, which is what I really like. It is straightforward, easy to use. And one of my favorite features is the battery and memory monitoring tools. Of course, you can monitor your memory, make sure your battery health is up to date, which is very important for performance. But of course, Clean My Mac can also help you scan for malware and so much more. So why buy a new Mac, right? When you can optimize it with Clean My Mac X. Make sure you check out Clean My Mac. Links will be available in the description down below with any special offers. Thank you to Clean My Mac for sponsoring today's video. Now with iOS 16.2, there's also two very important widgets added to the lock screen. So if we go to the lock screen here to add widgets, we now have a widget for sleep tracking. So if you want to sleep track, you can do that. You have two options for these widgets right here. And you also have medication tracking widgets as well. So if you take medications and you constantly forget, you can now track your medications directly from the lock screen of your iPhone as well. So yeah, two new widgets, one for medication reminder and one for tracking your sleep, which are now available within iOS 16. 16.2 definitely recommend you check those out another great new feature in ios 16.2 that i think many will enjoy is the new apple sing this is apple's karaoke version for apple music so once you're playing a song all you have to do is click on the lyrics and you'll see this microphone 
on the right portion of the screen right here. So once you click into this microphone, you go into karaoke mode, it removes the actual lyrics from the singer and it only gives you the track so you can sing karaoke along with the actual lyrics on your iPhone. So you have to try it out. Of course, I can't play the music because of copyright reasons, but it removes the vocals and only keeps the track and you can sing along with your favorite artist with the new Apple Sing on iOS 16.2. Definitely recommend you check that out right after updating. And last but not least, one of the most important features in iOS 16.2, in my opinion, is the advanced data protection feature under iCloud settings. So if you go into your iCloud account, you wanna scroll all the way to the bottom, you have advanced data protection. This includes additional data protection, things like notes, photos, and messages. All these options here have now been added to the end-to-end -end encryption for iCloud data protection. So you want to make sure you turn this feature on on your device in order to stay protected. Easily one of the biggest features in terms of privacy and data protection with iOS 16.2. There it is. You get all of your devices and all your data will be protected with the latest iOS 16.2. And that about brings it into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Happy updating your iPhone, your iPad, your Mac, and your Apple Watch, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.